Jonathan Huberto, by the way, Ooh. said this goodbye to the Panthers yesterday on social media. Ooh. He goes, I swear it's not easy to write this today, but I wanted to thank everyone who reached out to me over the past couple of days. It warms my heart seeing how many people care about me and support me. I won't lie. It was rough news to hear. But at the end of the day, hockey is a business. And these things happen. First of all, I'd like to thank the Florida Panthers organization for believing in me when I was 18. The place will always be my second home. I'm grateful. They gave me the chance to play in the best league in the world. To the Panthers fans, thank you so much for giving me a great hockey experience. I know lots of people say Florida is not a great hockey market, but I've seen the atmosphere the past couple of years, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you for support and always being so faithful. Love you all. Me and my family are ready for the next chapter in my life, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for the opportunity to play in Calgary in front of passionate Canadian fans. And... He should have said, I'm on my way right now to get a coat because it's cold as hell. Uh, well, he's, he, I mean, he, you know, he's, he's used to it. I, he did say, though, in the lead up to this, he says uh, that I gave that organization, I gave a lot to that organization, and I probably would have liked to get a little bit more respect on them uh, not giving him a contract extension or uh, dealing him without any explanation, which was an interesting thing because Bill Zito said, in the uh, he said in the lead up to this that this kind of came about in like two days. Like this wasn't like a Kevin Durant situation, right? Where you know this has been negotiated and negotiated and negotiated and all that type of stuff. He made a point to point that out. I guess that's because he didn't want. He knew that this was probably either going to be a question or there were going to be comments along these lines. And 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 I would say that I've seen situations where it just all of a sudden happens. Do you have uh, Jonathan Huberto uh, here, Marcos? Indeed. After having the best year of your career, did you get an explanation on the deal? Like, did you feel like Florida owed you some sort of an explanation on why you were the one going the other way? I would have liked an explanation. Um, I mean, there's always, you know, obviously Kachuk is younger, and you know it's it's a it's a business, and we all understand that. But yeah, I think I mean I gave a lot to the organization, and I would like probably get a little bit more respect. But that's hockey and that's business, and I can get over that. And that's about it. I mean, but that's uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's it. And now uh, now I'm, I'm thinking ahead, and I'm excited for the the new chapter. Yeah, that's cold. It's a cold thing that they did to him. It, it really it's is. It's kind of like, do you give do you give Zito a little bit of a break when he says, like, this wasn't like a, a long, you know, a long drawn, drawn out plan. This thing kind of all came together real quickly. You know, and w- when you're working that deal out, you're not thinking, ooh, let's make sure we call. Um, yeah, I don't you know. know. Like, what? I don't know either, but he, he kind of got well, ahead of it Zito- by saying that. And here's the thing with Zito. Zito hasn't been here a long time. You know, like right. for Huberto, he's been here a decade. And Bill Zito, has, has he been here two years yet? I think he just got here. To, you know, so he hasn't right. been here. He hasn't been here as long as Huberto. And he doesn't have this grand attachment to Jonathan Huberto. And it's clearly a business thing. Look, they know that they were going to have to pay him a lot of money. And their decision was to go with a guy who they think is a little bit more of a badass. You know, they thought that that that. You- Huberto's lack of production in the playoffs and also just him and Barkov not they really having that, that fire edge that you look for during the playoff hockey. Yeah, and that's kind of a crazy thing. Like, you know, for Kachuk to come out in his first press conference and say that we all see how good Barkov is, but that he's a quiet guy. For it to be that noticeable for him to say that, and he goes, Don't worry, I'm gonna bring like the edge to this team, essentially. You know, it tells you to what they were looking for. They were looking for somebody who's a bit of a fire starter for them because they got punked. I mean, they yeah, got- but maybe maybe the 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 Zito and and the coach told him that's why they wanted him, and so he's kind of just repeating that. I mean, it doesn't like. I don't think a player. That's also his deal. Like he people hate him. <laughs> like he's right. an, he's an antagonist. But really he's good. A, no, he's not. Really he's good. not. He's not an antagonist no, not and an enforcer. Yeah, he's not a goon. He's not going to go and just give you four goals a year. No, this dude can score. He can do it all. He's not Patrick Beverly is what you're saying. That's right. That's right. Wow. 
Yeah, that's um, right. But right, yeah, that's shots. that's that's icy, dude. No pun intended. Like that's that's a that's a that's a really cold thing to do to to Hoover, though. But to again, just... again, if if you believe Zito and when he says this all came together really quickly, mm-hmm. do you give him somewhat of a pass? Because we know that some of these trades do kind of present themselves, and you put it together in a few hours, and then after it's done. Then you try to pick up the pieces. I and think the thing, I think yeah, one of those I, pieces was Jonathan Huberdo. I don't know what the good way to go about that is. Right. Um, but I, I think that it's why there's a lot of Panthers fans who think like, hey, you know, there are Panthers fans who don't even like the move. Like they think like, you know, Jonathan mm-hmm. Huberdo is one of my favorite players. He just right. had his best season. He had a better season than Kachuk. I realize that he's five years older than him. Um. But to to pin it on him is a bit unfair. And so I do think there's probably a, a piece of the fan base that looks at that and say, I don't like what they I, just, I don't like what they did to essentially the team's this is very this is an argument he's the best franchise player. I mean, right. you know, all time leader yeah. in points and all that type of stuff. So mm-hmm. um, you know, he's probably gonna go up in the rafters one day, right next to Luongo. Like there's not a lot of hit hockey history that this team has. And this guy has been through the bad and took it all the way through the good where they have the, they win the president's trophy last year. So I'm with you. I don't know what the good way we always talk about is it the fact that you left or the fact that, or is it the way you do it? I don't know what the good way for them to do it is. I don't know if they, Hey, this came up. It's nothing personal. You know, I don't know if that makes Jonathan Huber don't feel any better. Probably not. He's probably still pissed. Like no, he's a like I I I felt even though I had more success in Minnesota, right? As far as winning, as far as production or whatever, um, I felt like crap when you know when you know Baltimore or the Browns, whoever you want to call them you know, said, you know, look, this is what we're doing, right? Now, the 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 difference between what happened there and my situation was the player personnel guy in Ozzy Newsom I played with. Right. So that conversation would go a little bit different than I'm sure it would between Huberdo and Zito, right? So – that's the only difference, but you still feel like crap because keep in mind, when I came into the league, I used to associate players with teams, right? So so you're used to seeing, you know, that guy on that team. Like Archie Manning didn't finish his career in New Orleans. It's weird, mm-hmm. right? And you have a number of players like that. It would have been the equivalent to Dan Marino if he had actually gone to Minnesota. Yeah, I mean these breakups are always bad. Like Dwayne Wade's breakup with the Heat, and Pat right. Riley. Pat Riley said, "Oh, I'm crafting an email." And you're like, "What?" An email? Right, right. It's it's a, it's an awkward, it's an awkward situation. Like if you believe what the Panthers say, then they had every right to do that. But then it becomes a personal thing, um, and that you have a guy who has been a team and a company guy even through the difficult times. And and so now you're getting rid of that guy and and it's an uncomfortable situation, you know, and I don't I'm not mad at the Panthers because you know, you understand what they're trying to do, right? You understand what type of team they're trying to put on the ice. Mm-hmm. I'm not upset with Hoover though because of course he feels slighted because he felt that, you know, he put everything into making this franchise and taking this franchise where it wants to be. And now he's not with that franchise. So he never got an opportunity to see it through. Yeah. So I can understand that also. Shemithan Schmolnik says, more like cry baby doe. Grow up, Peter Pan. <laughs> hey, I, I don't care. I don't care. Oof. I don't care how grown you are, that it always hurts. It always hurts. Says, uh, yeah. Guy says, uh, Bill Zito looks like a weirdo, and that press conference is weird. 
He did. I mean, listen, he looked like he got his his prize pony. He was very excited about him getting get a Chuck. He's like, oh, he's a unicorn. Loves him. Leroy played so long ago, he got traded via Telegram. Is that true, Leroy? Browns actually sent the trade papers through the mail. What are we doing? Wow, is this true, Leroy? Wow. How did you find out? Did they just call, did your agent call you? Did you no. get called in? Your Ozzy. Oh, Ozzy. I yeah. told you. Like Ozzy, like he, like I, and it was probably one of the few things that tapered my anger, right? Yeah. But here's what made me more upset. Damage is done, Ozzy. Like, if so, so oh, damage, damage is done, my friend. At some point, Huberdo can come to the realization of why they did it. They basically got a younger him with a little more attitude, right? Mm-hmm. You can you can come. You know, you can come to that conclusion if you're Huberto at some point. It's still going to sting. For me, I was not only upset that I was getting moved, I was upset of who they thought they could replace me with. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so when you think, wow, the guy that they're bringing in to replace you, they think he's better than you. That's the part that got to me more than anything. And all you can do at that point is go on the field and prove it. 